Did you know? Mmm, -mm, potatoes. These have to be one of the most popular foods in the world. We absolutely love our potatoes. Whether we're slicing them thin and eating them as crisps or chips, whether we're chipping them and eating them as chips or french fries, or mashing them or boiling them, or any number of other ways of eating potatoes, we love potatoes. Now, here in Britain, Sir Walter Raleigh is credited with introducing potatoes and tobacco to Elizabethan England. For others, it is the Spanish conquistadors who truly introduced the potato to Europe. But either way, in the Elizabethan court, the potato caused a stir. This exciting and exotic ingredient was used as mash in shepherd's pie type dishes, but also in puddings, uh, mixed in with butter and sugar to create a potato pudding pie. Hmm. Now, that was in England, but in Scotland the story was slightly different. The Scots didn't necessarily take to the potato in the same way. Potatoes were seen as new, different, and potentially even poisonous. Whether out of genuine concern, or simply to mark themselves out as different from Protestant England, the Scottish clergy declared that as the potato was not mentioned in the Bible, it was not a food designed for man by God. Partaking of potatoes risked not only one's life, but one's soul, akin to eating the forbidden fruit of Eden. A fairly unequivocal and clear stance there, but it does have me somewhat confused. If they felt they could only condone things found in the Bible, why not be adamantly against the eating of haggis? Hmm. And what about parsnips, a traditional accompaniment to many Scottish dishes? Indeed, I hate to say it, but this clergy found themselves in a whole country that's not mentioned in the Bible. Hmm. Anyway, make of that what you will. Here at Archeo Soup Towers, forbidden fruit or not, we will continue to enjoy potatoes in all their glorious forms.